No way, KSI just leaked some of his diss track on the sidemen. Yo, what's going on peeps and welcome back once again to another video and today I'm going to be showing you some footage of KSI's new diss track on the Sidemen. Now if you haven't heard the story yet, KSI tweeted out that he's leaving the Sidemen and moving on to bigger things. Now apparently everybody knew that KSI was going to do a diss track on the Sidemen so some of the Sidemen members themselves did some diss tracks of their own. And after KSI witnessed and listened to the diss tracks performed by Rotashaw and Bazinga, he just couldn't wait to post his own online so he leaked some of it on his Snapchat and his channel. Now KSI leaving the Sidemen in my opinion just seems like a big troll slash publicity stunt. I mean why would KSI leave the Sidemen? He's been with them his whole YouTube career and suddenly he just wants to leave? But those statements are just coming from me and some people in the comments and I'm gonna be going more in depth uh, after showing you the leaked diss track. I know a lot of you clicked on this video to hear the diss track and you want me to shut up right now so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Here's the leaked diss track on the Sidemen performed by KSI. No, if I thought, bro. <laughs> you know fucked up. You know? Tell me that shit. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck look like you, bitch? I'ma have fun with the nigga here done. You the woodchuck, woodchuck, none. Think you a big man with a shit dick, man. I'm a click, click, clap. I'ma tell her how I see it. Alright, so people who are claiming that KSI has left the Sidemen are actually wrong. Toby Dizzle, a member of the Sidemen, uploaded a video on August 2nd, 2017 in the Sidemen house, and JJ aka KSI could be seen in that video. Now, Ethan aka Bazinga, the guy KSI said was the main reason he left the group, was also seen in that video, and the two of them were not fighting, they weren't arguing, or just anything like that. Now, keep in mind, this video was uploaded on August 2nd, and KSI tweeted out that he was leaving the Sidemen on August 3rd, basically the day after. So it seems pretty fake and it's just not real. Also in the news. Another member of the Sidemen, Vicstar123, reacted to the tweet on one of his live streams and he said it's all a troll and that KSI is just a big troll. For everyone still talking about JJ's tweet, just like he's a troll. None of us reacted to it. None of you guys should. Or, or at least if you do, just, just don't spam it in my stream, please. Pazinga or Ethan, another member of the Sidemen, did a video where he jokes around and shows himself taking over KSI's room while KSI is in Los Angeles. And in that video, you can transparently see that he's laughing and his camera guy's laughing. And when they walk into JJ's room, all of his clothes are still there, his setup is there, and so on. Now, if you still don't believe me, watch the video leaving the Sidemen where KSI basically explains, or quote unquote explains, that he's leaving the Sidemen. Now, in that video, KSI starts saying that I'm leaving the Sidemen and sad music is playing in the background and when he says I'm leaving the Sidemen because of Ethan the music stops playing and that basically symbolizes that it's all a joke why I'm leaving the Sidemen uh mainly because of Ethan I'd say he was the main reason I'm leaving and from the looks of the video you can see that KSI doesn't even show a certain emotion sure he's a little bit sad but if this was real he would be crying and showing a lot of more emotions the main reason they're doing this is to make some diss tracks and have some fun and everything is a big joke KSI is not leaving the side man why would he leave a group that he's been living with for many years and making videos with and getting millions and millions of views but now you're probably thinking and contemplating how is this fake if Keemstar tweeted KSI asking him if this was real and KSI responded with yes, this is real and this is not fake at all. Well that's because they want views, they want fame, they want attention for this. I mean KSI deleted over 2 billion views on his channel and the videos he deleted were basically very disliked by himself. And if KSI with 16 million subscribers starts drama between him and the Sidemen, the group he's been living with for many years, a lot of people will watch that. He'll get views, he'll get subscribers, and he'll get the fame that he lost when he deleted over 2 billion views from his channel. 
Now, if you still don't believe me, then you don't have to. I mean, if you think this is real, it's just entertaining for you. I'm just saying my points in this video because I've been seeing a lot of people debating this topic on YouTube and on Twitter. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And once you've subscribed to the channel, make sure you turn on post notifications by clicking on the bell beside the subscribe button and checking post notifications so you get notified whenever I post out a video. And with that being said, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.